actions speak louder than words. That's a saying of the world. It's not found in scripture. Even though that saying may be factual in some circumstances, just because it's a statement that's factual in some circumstances, don't take such a statement and make it as if it's scripture. Because even scripture is subjected to the right context. You can't just take a scripture and begin to state it all the time. Okay? Now, I said before that thoughts speak louder than actions and words. Because you are an energetic being as human being and your way of thinking affects the type of energy you emit from yourself as a human being. That's true. And I also explained that unless you are delivered by the renewing of your mind, you are in darkness. And when it comes to generational curses or transgenerational violence, it's all in the pattern. So when you, when you encounter people today, let's say you encounter a couple, let's say it's a married couple, one, the name of the husband is Steve, the name of the wife is Joanna. Steve and Joanna, they didn't come out of the womb together like that. Steve was born somewhere, Johanna was born somewhere. They met each other, they entered into an agreement that was ratified by the government and the community. That's what they call marriage in the world. I'm not going into Roman marriage in this video. You see them together. What's their background? Their names, they didn't invent their own names. Their names were transferred onto them. That's obvious. But not only their names were transferred onto them, the language you speak was also transferred onto them. The, the attitudes they have are likely attitudes have been conditioned into by their environment. So most of the things that relate to them don't come from them. They've received it from the previous generations. So if the majority of things that relate to them don't come from them, they just inherited it from their environment, that has been an environment has been formed by the previous generations, then understand that violence can be transferred also from one generation to the next. I mean, it may not work out the same way as did in the previous generation, but it's still the same violence. Remember, it's all in the pattern. Maybe you see this James, and you see that he's quite lazy, and that the wife is quite angry all the time. But when you look at James, um, father, he was, James' father was a man who was just like this James, but he got involved with several women who were just like the wife James has now. And when you look at the grandfather of James, which is the father of his father, he went through a similar thing. And then you'll see the pattern. You get what I'm saying? So it's all in the pattern. This James, without being aware of it, he inherited the iniquity of his forefathers. And he isn't even aware he's operating in the iniquity of his forefathers. But it doesn't cause out that the iniquity has consequence on him. In this case, he's in an abusive marriage, which cost him his long-term health. Is it his fault that he inherited the iniquity of his uh, ancestors? No, but he should seek deliverance from it. That's his responsibility. It's, it's not responsible that he received that iniquity, but he is responsible for um, valuing his own safety and looking for it. Again, it's all in the pattern. Because ugly spirits can only operate in patterns and cycles. They only have the past. And worldly people or common people, they, they long for stable patterns. In that way, they are in line with evil spirits when it comes to their thinking. So you can't agree with a demon yet expect the blessing to manifest. I told you that before. That's why it's written to be renewed, by the, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind and not to be conformed to the pattern of this world. Because it's all in the pattern. So when examining those around you, check the pattern. Don't just look at actions or words, because action and words may conflict. And people may have the right intentions, but they don't know how to act about. But patterns don't lie. Just like the body doesn't lie, patterns don't lie either. 
check the patterns. And that's why it's important, in some cases, know a bit of the history. Now, just want to share this video and one more thing. When you notice that in someone's history or in a family history, there are too many holes, something doesn't add up. Pay attention to those things. Don't ignore them. That's it for now. Cribbit Christ. Yeah, peace.